Python underscore SDR underscore versus underscore Unicode underscore. Is there a Python convention for when you should implement underscore SDR underscore versus underscore Unicode underscore? I've seen classes override underscore Unicode underscore more frequently than underscore SDR underscore, but it doesn't appear to be consistent. Are there specific rules when it is better to implement one versus the other? Is it necessary slash good practice to implement both? Underscore SDR underscore is the old method, it returns bytes. Underscore Unicode underscore is the new, preferred method, it returns characters. The names are a bit confusing, but in two. X we're stuck with them for compatibility reasons. Generally, you should put all your string formatting in underscore Unicode underscore and create a stub underscore SDR underscore method. In 3.0, SDR contains characters, so the same methods are named underscore bytes underscore and underscore SDR underscore. These behave as expected. If I didn't especially care about micro-optimizing stringification for a given class I'd always implement underscore unicode underscore only, as it's more general. When I do care about such minute performance issues, which is the exception, not the rule, having underscore str underscore only, when I can prove there never will be non-ASCII characters in the stringified output, or both, when both are possible, might help. These I think are solid principles, but in practice it's very common to know there will be nothing but ASCII characters, without doing effort to prove it, for example the stringified form only has digits, punctuation, and maybe a short ASCII name, in which case it's quite typical to move on directly to the just underscore str underscore approach, but if a programming team I worked with proposed a local guideline to avoid that, I'd be plus one on the proposal, as it's easy to err in these matters and premature optimization is the root of all evil in programming. With the world getting smaller, chances are that any string you encounter will contain Unicode eventually. So for any new apps, you should at least provide underscore Unicode underscore. Whether you also override underscore str underscore is then just a matter of taste. If you are working in both Python 2 and Python 3 in Django, I recommend the Python underscore 2 underscore Unicode underscore compatible decorator. Django provides a simple way to define SDR and Unicode methods that work on Python 2 and 3, you must define a SDR method returning text and to apply the Python underscore 2 underscore Unicode underscore compatible decorator. As noted in earlier comments to another answer, some versions of future.utils also support this decorator. On my system, I needed to install a newer future module for Python 2 and install future for Python 3. After that, then here is a functional example. Here is example output, where vend2 slash vend3 are virtual end instances. Python 2, implement underscore sdr underscore, only, and return a unicode. When underscore unicode underscore, is emitted and someone calls unicode o or u% s% o, python calls o dot underscore str underscore, and converts to unicode using the system encoding. See documentation of underscore unicode underscore. The opposite is not true. If you implement underscore unicode underscore, but not underscore str underscore, then when someone calls str o or %s% %o, python returns repr o. Rationale. Why would it work to return a Unicode from underscore SDR underscore? If underscore SDR underscore returns a Unicode, Python automatically converts it to SDR using the system encoding. What's the benefit? One, it frees you from worrying about what the system encoding is, i.e., locale.getpreferred encoding. Not only is that messy, personally, but I think it's something the system should take care of anyway. Two, if you are careful, your code may come out cross-compatible with Python 3, in which underscore SDR underscore returns Unicode. Isn't it deceptive to return a Unicode from a function called underscore str underscore? A little. 
however, you might be already doing it. If you have from underscore future underscore import unicode underscore literals at the top of your file, there's a good chance you're returning a unicode without even knowing it. What about Python 3? Python 3 does not use underscore unicode underscore. However, if you implement underscore str underscore, so that it returns unicode under either Python 2 or Python 3, then that part of your code will be cross compatible. What if I want Unicode O to be substantively different from str? Implement both underscore str underscore, possibly returning str, and underscore unicode underscore. I imagine this would be rare, but you might want substantively different output, for example, ASCII versions of special characters, like column, for you, smiley face. I realize some may find this controversial. If you want to support the channel, please consider subscribing.